Hey there, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. And again, we are in Quick Tech 5, where we cover a single topic or a feature in five minutes or less. In this video, I would like to show you how to properly join a Synology NAS to an Active Directory domain. Now, without, uh, without further ado, we will jump right into our environment. This is a virtual machine. And this is a virtual DSM, but the process remains the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in because before joining a, a, a Synology NAS to a domain, we must make sure, sorry, we must make sure that uh, just like any other device you would like to join to, a, to your domain, the DNS servers must be the ones that, uh, that are your uh, domain controllers. Go to your control panel, to your network, to your network interface, select the network interface and click on edit and change it from DHCP, always change it to a static IP. Now, whatever the static IP uh, you, you, you uh, give your device, that's up to you. The DNS server should be the domain controller of your, uh, of your domain. Now, once this is set, click on OK. What I'm going to do right now is actually start the domain joining process. It's as easy as going to the control panel, panel sorry, go to domain slash LDAP and click on join. Now, server type, you can uh, keep it on auto detect, but I'm gonna set it to a domain. I don't need it to search what's best for me. I, I, I already know. The server address. Now, this is usually, uh, at least in DSM 7, should be pointing to your domain controller. Now, it found that I have a domain called contosa.com. It needs a, a domain admin password. In the management mode, I'm going to, to uh, uh, set it as single domain with OU because I don't have a forest with multiple domains. This is something that you don't have to, uh, uh, to fill in. You can already push the uh, computer account that's going to be created into a specific OU. We will do it later. Click on next. It's going to go through a series of checks. All right, so as you can see, the joining process was successful. This is how it's done on DSM-7. Now, even though I'm not asked to, what I would also, I, what I always do and I recommend that you do is restart your Synology device at this point. And just as a, hell, as a sanity check, let's refresh our domain. And in computers, indeed, I see the VDSM computer account that is uh, uh, the uh, Synology that we just joined to our domain. And I can, of course, push it into a different OU, just like any other device. And at this point, uh, uh, the big advantage of joining a Synology NAS to a domain is uh, the ability to now uh, uh, set permissions on shared folders on the Synology to uh, domain users and groups and of course, I will just show you real quick how this is done. All right, so we are logged in to our DSM after it, it has been rebooted after domain joining. And we can go now to control panel to shared folders and create a shared folder. Let's call it domain for the lack of a better idea. Click on next, next. And now when we get to the uh, permissions, I can now choose domain users or domain groups. And here are all the groups from my domain, which I can, of course, assign the desired permission level. So this is how easy it is to uh, join a Synology NAS to a domain and to assign permissions to domain users and groups. This was another quick tech five. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys.